What's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We are doing your love reading for the week. I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year. Let's see what's going on for my Scorpios. What is coming up for Scorpio in love this week? Spirit guides, please send clear messages for my Scorpios. Remember, if this reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower. Links below in the description. Okay, what the hell's going on here, Scorpio? Friends, legal matters, and separation. Ooh, someone could be going through a divorce. What is the outcome for Scorpio this week, please? What do they need to know, spirit? Late night. Finances. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> we got a street walker here? No, I'm just kidding. Some of you could be working late at night. You could be shifting your job to maybe third shift. Some of you could be um, creating content at night as well. But I'm also getting that someone could be... We'll clarify it. I'm not even going to go with that. So text message, legal matters, heartbreak. Someone is sending you a message. It could be a friend. Maybe you're not close to. I'm hearing a friend could be suing you. <laughs> like an ex-friend could be trying to sue you and you're laughing in the face of it because they're heartbroken or this is someone that is going through a divorce or actually going to jail and you're close to this person, but I feel like they're heartbroken and you see this differently. Whatever this news is, I think it's working out in your favor. Some of you could have a friend who's in heartbreak through the separation and they're sending you a message. This could be something about finances. Maybe they're jealous of your finances and a connection you have with the late night energy being here is there's a feminine and masculine. Um, let's clarify, Scorpio, because you know we ain't got time for this bullshit. <laughs> what is coming up for my Scorpio this week of January, the new year? Look, commitment, offer of loyalty, an agreement. Some of you could be signing contracts. What is finances for Scorpio? Extroverted needs to talk, saying a lot, and twin flame divine connection. So you could have someone here that is wanting to share finances with you, maybe ask you for money. Someone's talking about your money. Okay. What's late night? Divine masculine. Lust, intimacy, passion, and love. So if you're the masculine, it doesn't actually matter if you're the masculine. I just feel like someone fantasizes about you a lot at night, Scorpio, whether you're the masculine or feminine. Okay. What's the text message coming to Scorpio? Self-worth, struggling with self-worth, working on it, and pain. Someone trying to tell you they're in pain. But you must know something about this person. We got holding back, hiding the facts, secret, friends, separation, breakup, time apart. Is this not basically what we're seeing here? So like I said, this could be someone platonic, or this could be an ex, but they're trying to raise their vibration to get closer to you. Because this person does struggle with their self-worth, and when they're in your light, Scorpio, they feel better. What's legal matters? Oh, attraction, wanting more, insatiable thoughts, and step, uh, step back, trust your guides, a time for pause, past life connection, communication, worth waiting for, self-love. So someone is going to communicate to you that they are learning to love themselves, or they're acknowledging your connection and what they need to do to get there, okay? But with legal matters and wanting more, this could be someone who's in the system and is really waiting for their time to be with you with um, insatiable thoughts, attraction, and relax. Um, it could also be that someone's really wanting something to happen quicker than it needs to. And they're trying to push it along fast. But there's a time for pause right now and to trust your guides. What's the separation? New start, new beginning, leap of faith, start over, and wait. Trust in divine timing. The universe does have your back. So I feel like you're being separated from one thing to go towards another. There is betrayal. And you will get news of this, Scorpio, that someone is very jealous of you. Jealousy, watching, green-eyed monster, coming forward, planning on communicating, deception, dishonesty, and cheating. So this could be a third-party energy that's wanting you to, you know, loom away from someone. What's friends? Watch the company you keep, I heard, Scorpio. Especially with this new blessing in your finances. What's friends? Marriage, forever commitment, 
chase her coming for you determined and in pursuit and then again we got communication so it could be that you had a friend that was trying to break up your marriage or a third party here okay but they were chasing you or your partner mm, 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 mm. what is this what's the heartbreak inner child childhood wounds healing the inner child shadow work and loyal passion for you honesty and then we're back to this competition eyes on another multiple options controlling toxic and finances so someone here could have been like keeping you as an option because you do well for yourself maybe someone was trying to tell them to keep you in this in this like energy with them so that they could use you for finances but this is someone that went the opposite way scorpio and went to heal their inner child because they have passion and loyalty for you and they stopped listening to third parties damn and they are going to build themselves up so that they can come into union with you. What? Okay, Scorpio, let's go over to the tarot. You know, Scorpio, I'm also just seeing someone that thinks heavily about you at night and how they didn't treat you fairly and how the separation is tearing them up. So I feel like you're going to hear from this person late at night, probably tonight, okay? We got marriage, friendship, luck, and victory scorpio with generosity there are people angels ancestors around willing to help you out of the kindness of their heart be grateful for the gifts coming your way remember i told you guys you can zoom in now we have empress grow and nurture your creations and emperor walk in your power ground focus on your end goal let nothing throw you off in abundance abundance is around you remember abundance comes in all shapes and forms i'm getting abundance and ground real estate i'm also getting don't let people throw you off of your empress emperor energy right now your spirit guides are giving you this boost of self-confidence to get you to where you need to go next in your chapter okay all right this is a big victory and luck for my scorpios um, during Capricorn season, which I really love. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is facing their possessiveness, their obsessed energy, and their ego. And Scorpio is like, I am creating wealth and abundance for myself and self-love. <laughs> Never a dull moment with my Scorpios. Now let's go to the tarot. What do my babies need to know? We got the lovers in the moon. Secret love. Some of y'all. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces. What is coming towards Scorpio's love life this week? What do they need to know? First, looking at you guys. Like I said before, if this reading doesn't resonate, you can book a reading with me. Link down in the description below. All right, Scorpio. Ooh, oh, damn. You are turning it on. You are looking good. You are attracting King of Wands. <gasps> and the King of Cups, masculine. Stop. Mm. Emotionally balanced. Why does this look like a pentacle to me, too? Financially balanced, creatively, sexually, passionately balanced, feminine, you could have two options in love, or this person has strong fire, water, and their um, sun, moon, rising. Who's coming towards the collective? I mean, Scorpio, sorry. The star, Aquarian energy. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, you got the ace of cups and the star. This could be an Aquarius who's in love with you, but I feel like you give this person healing love and they want to like drop a love bomb on you after this healing process they're going through or this enlightenment. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wish fulfillment. Crowning. The Two of Cups. Get out of here, Scorpio. <laughs> in the central, the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. And in the foundation... The five of wands, conflictive energy. Hmm. Making the best out of, uh, out of something, some kind of conflict here, Scorpio. What is the outcome for Scorpio and this person this week? The devil. The princess of cups. And the four of pentacles. What's at the bottom? The king of swords, the knight of cups, and the hanged one. So someone is like not ready yet but they're going to be scorpio they're gaining enlightenment right now mm -hmm. their crown chakra is being activated and then they will communicate these feelings towards you libra virgo pisces cancer mm -hmm. okay 
Four of Pentacles, someone is clinging on to something that makes them happy. That's what I'm feeling here with the Sun card coming through. Okay? It's also like a window of happiness. But where are we going? Where is it leading? To the Princess of Cups and the Devil. Here we go, folks. <laughs> it's an apology. It's an apology or it's a peace offering to you, Scorpio, during Capricorn season. But this person does feel like they've had a tie to you for a very long time. And that's what I've heard. You've been recycled through many life cycles with this person. So many, it's hard to keep count. Okay? And now it's time for something to happen that's different, that's bigger than this, that's bigger than both of you. With this Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles, it's like, it's not moving the way that it should when the devil's in, in the midst. The Princess of Cups with the Four of Pentacles is not the kind of energy you want to be in with the damn devil. This is also a Capricorn or a Pisces that clings to you. And I mean clings. Mm -hmm. This could also be someone's ex here that is still holding on to them and the toxic bond and not releasing. But this person's coming to heal with you, Scorpio. They love you. Mm -hmm. And then we got the Queen of Pentacles dead center in your reading. This is about commitment, mother-like energy, empress energy, like we saw at the beginning, five of wands. There's going to be competition or you beat out this competition. Absolutely, you did. But you've also got an Aries Leo Sag that's hanging on to some kind of conflict right now. And it's like... They want forgiveness, but they know they've created some kind of tower because my tower card in this deck is the volcano. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this person's hanging on to hope as tightly as possible for creating conflict. Ooh, we. If you're into the feminine, you are definitely being aligned with the person you're going to marry this year, I feel. And feminines, if you're or if you're into the masculines, I feel like there's some competition going on. Let's clarify. What is going on here for my Scorpios? Very passionate and loving energy, you guys. It's so healing, but you've got people clinging to you, trying to apologize, trying to latch onto your energy. What's the King of Cups with the King of Wands for my babies? What's coming towards them with this beautiful energy? The Magician. Something you manifested, Ace of Wands. And it is a bright new creative idea or new beginning. Again, people are trying to figure out what you got going on and trying to create conflict because you're in hermit mode. Working. What else, Spirit? The Six of Pentacles. And I'm seeing nothing but Pentacles here because someone's not the star. They're not putting in the work. They're not trying to heal here, Scorpio. Capricorn. Okay, you could have cut this person off. Um... You're manifesting a new passion for yourself, something big, something grand, and you're putting your whole heart into it. Yep, you manifested this for yourself, Scorpio. Get ready. It's going to be amazing. What else, Spirit? The Emperor. That's the kind of energy we need. Scorpio energy, the Emperor. You are stepping fully in. We know who the real Emperor is up in here. Mm -hmm. It's you, baby. And you are. You're embodying all the king's, king's energy right now, and you're manifesting something new. I'm getting a business idea or venture, but this is something that can't be touched. Okay? This is all yours, Scorpio. And I'm also seeing that someone is wanting to propose. Like, it's not just sexual for them with the Ace of Wands. The Magician, King of Cups, King of Wands, Emperor, you bring out the best in this person and they want to marry you. What's the star with the Ace of Cups? Look, I cannot make it up, Scorpio. Ace of Cups, the Five of Swords. So this person knows that they could have missed a chance with you here, but they're still going to try again. Look at this. Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands. What's that? The Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Look at every single Ace is out here now, Scorpio. This person needs to face the truth about their finances or a new beginning. It's like, yeah, I bet you do want to put the truth behind you after the mess you cause, huh, Aries Leo Sag? But you have to see it for what it is. You have to conquer that on your own and face your own truth, not put it behind you and hide your sword, right? Yeah, you know those kind of people. So they're over here admiring your blessing, I see. Yeah. And this is that Five of Swords energy. Someone thought they could take this Ace of Cups from you, but you and this person have been through many lifetimes together. This is my matured Two of Cups. So you've either been with this person for a long time or your souls are re like reuniting in love. And they thought they could stop it. Notice the two people back there. 
They thought that they could stop your connection or stop it from healing with some kind of bullshit, some kind of gossip, five of swords. But it was really because this person was hurt. They hold their three of swords everywhere they go. That's why they can't find love, Scorpio. So they were jealous of you. Ooh, damn. At a distance, three of wands at the bottom of the deck, three of cups, and look at the five of cups. Yeah, this person, look at this. No one wants love with this person. Why? Because they are a whore, queen of wands in the reverse, seven of wands. They hide their affairs, secrets, and gossip in the world here. Even when they know they're supposed to have enlightenment, they don't move on, Scorpio. Yeah, they're going to be begging for your forgiveness in the spirit realm for trying this shit here. Because this to me is like... I don't know like the queen of wands in the reverse and the way that she's looking over here like this is like she was trying to stop something for you and that's this five of wands down here now this is a like someone who uses their body for money blackmails people has sex with them blackmails them doesn't complete cycles even though spirits warn this person many times with the hangman in the reverse so it's like now they're seeing this is why no one wants them in a relationship or wants new love with them. So they stay in third parties at a distance. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And the queen of wands in the reverse is also a very unattractive, uncreative person. So this could be someone who is trying to mock, a karmic who is trying to mock your energy and maybe pull an Aquarius into the mix to try to side with them. But this person's looking at them like they're fucking crazy. What's the Two of Cups? What is the Two of Cups? The Seven of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. The Hermit, Virgo, as I'm saying it. And the Knight of Cups. This is sweet. So again, there is a fire sign trying to block something from you and they don't want you to know. This is gossip about your family. This is also someone that's like, you know when, like, I'm getting like this, um this energy of someone who fights to get into like it's an opportunist okay this is an opportunist who will stand up in front of you like they'll fight for you just to get into your family or into the mix but this person behind Cole's doors is very shady okay they're just after a victory they lie knight of swords in the reverse they're i feel like this person needs to acknowledge their own cup instead of trying to hurt other people unapologetically page of cups pisces in the in the reverse ten of swords look at this person if they would stop lying to themselves and be this king of swords, they could get grounded. They wouldn't feel so much pain. They wouldn't feel like if they have to apologize all the time and live in all this fear. They'd feel love within their heart, but they don't. They lie. They're not victorious. And now this person's been silenced by spirit. They have to sleep on that sword and watch you get your ten of pentacles. And now they're being kicked out of the kingdom. No pass go. No collect $200, bitch. Get out of here. It's like this person was waiting on your finances or waiting to see what you were going to do with a Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and this person was watching you heavily. It was always like, can I come over? Can I come see you? This person was trying to get up in your business and peep your finances and peep your shit. They were clinging. Mm. Mm -mm. You know, it's making me think of this old movie where these girls are like college roommates and this girl literally stalks her before she becomes her roommate and tries to be like her. That's exactly what I'm seeing. It's like you can't be the queen of pentacles if you're not the queen of pentacles. You can't mock and study someone's energy. It's not appropriate, you know, but someone tried to build this relationship with you so they could see if they should invest or what they can take. And that's not fair to Scorpio. So these people are going to be fucked when they see your new beginning. Look at you emperors. What's the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio? Ooh, the High Priestess. I know y'all ain't playing. The Nine of Pentacles. Hey, fellow tarot readers, I know you're here. This is awesome. Okay, especially if you are a fellow tarot reader. You're going to be making a lot of money over the web this year. Okay, you're super, I don't want to say this. You are completely aligned within your Emperor Empress energy. You're creating wealth, but not just because you're working, but because you listen to your intuition, you've completed your cycles, and Spirit's got a blessing for you. Yep, that's why you're the Queen of Pentacles with the lovers at the bottom. This could be business, okay? 
Yeah, you're not going to be stuck in your head about this. There's not going to be conflict. But there is new love for a lot of you guys. This is, this is an earth sign that's still missing you or a uh, fellow Scorpio here. But they are clinging tightly to this, okay? They feel like something didn't work out the way they hoped here with the Two of Cups. So they're still hoping this can be renewed with you, Scorpio. One second. Sorry, my cats opened the door. And I hate that when I'm trying to do a reading. All right, so... Yes, Scorpio, this is where you're going. This is like new connections in the world here, over the web, business, but in general, very balanced, listening to your in intuition, being an empress. Some of you are single right now and explore your options, but you're meeting the one with the lover's card. Yes, and your intuition is gonna tell you, yep, this is it. I like this reading, Scorpio. What is the five of wands? What is this competition and conflict at the base of the reading? What do people want with my Scorpio? Look, <laughs> you tried to come out. Like, you're going to step all over these people. What's the five of wands for Scorpio? The six of cups, someone from your past or your childhood, the sun, happiness and enlightenment, three of wands at a distance. Yep. You can't make this shit up. You definitely kick someone to the curb here, Scorpio. You saw that something wasn't right here. Maybe you saw this person was in denial, yeah, about money and their emotions here, yep. Two of swords, the moon. So you saw that this person was trapped in an illusion. That's why they don't get blessings or they don't give them and they don't talk about it. They don't want to. They just wanna talk about what you got going on. So you kicked this person to the curb once you saw the conflict they were bringing. It's like you weren't there to have this two of cups. You were there to cling on to me in my new beginning. So this person started creating, trying to create a lot of conflict around you and in, within your life or within your circle. And this is someone from your past, could be a lover, could be a friend, but I'm getting Leo, Aries, Sag, Scorpio. But look at how you're coming out. You're going towards your happiness. You're not waiting on anybody, okay? And I'm noticing too that these like lilies for forgiveness, all right? This person's not getting that they've messed up too many times. There is no forgiveness here. Even if this was like someone who felt like they were your soulmate, they were creating conflict at a distance for you and trying to stop this happiness from coming. But they can't because you're in Scorpio. Right. So they got kicked to the damn curb. That's why they're on this damn cliff. Right. I feel like this person's out of reach. And for some reason, remember how I was talking about how they watch people's finances? Notice all those bolts out there. It's almost like I'm getting from this energy right here that this, this is someone who admires your work from a distance, okay? This is mock me energy. And that's something that people are starting to see with the sun card here. Something wasn't adding up with this person. It was a fight within themselves. So what is the devil with the page of cups and the four of pentacles for Scorpio? See, people are, think they can stop something for you, but they can't. You see what I'm saying? They're like fighting about your blessing <laughs> or your relationship or your engagement for some of you guys. What's the devil, the page of cups, and the four of pentacles here? What is this shit? Okay, I was not ready, and the card just came out funky. What's the devil, the page of cups, and the four of pentacles? The Four of Swords, The Fool, and the Six of Pentacles. You are a force to be reckoned with, my Scorpios. Someone tried to test your spirituality. Look at the hero font down there. And these kids are reminding me of the Six of Cups kids. You're letting go of the past. You're letting go of old constructs in your religion. Like, you are breaking absolutely free, and nobody can mess with you. Especially this fire sign or possible Cancer Scorpio Pisces who was trying to create burdens for you. Okay, look at you coming out as clean as a whistle. Mm -hmm. So this person's gone silent. That's what I feel. Um, the four of swords with the six of pentacles. It's like, and the fool. They're quiet. They're real quiet. Yeah, you are. You're real quiet. Now, this person's going to, um, to be honest with you, Scorpio. This person is going to start losing a lot of money and their health is going to start declining. They're going to get depressed. They're not going to want to get out of bed. 
they're giving to too many energies. They're trying to see who and what they can get money out of. They're always trying to be, you know, it kind of reminds me of people who think that they're entrepreneurs, but they're not because they don't have the voice or the energy to do it. They just have ideas like the fool. So this is someone who's very quiet about the imbalances in their life and how much they watch you, how much they hold on to you. And you're seeing it. You're like, bye. These people are, you're done with these people, Scorpio. You're manifesting a new beginning for yourself. Tell me more about this new beginning for Scorpio. Where's the death card going for my babies? Where is it leading them now? Where is it leading my Scorpios now? The nine of cups, wish fulfillment. The seven of wands in the reverse. You won't have to feel like you got to defend your wishes around other people that aren't happy for you in the wheel of fortune. And they can take their broke asses outside. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. Scorpio's not in denial and Scorpio's not confused. Justice has come with the wheel, bitch. Yes. Whoever was trying to stop your wishes from coming true. It's an emphasis on an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm sorry, especially Aries. Quit stalking my readings. <laughs> I've got two X Aries, you guys. Like, seriously. All right. What's the T? As soon as I split the deck, Scorpio, we got switch up and bye, Felicia. It says, peace out. Peace and out. Thank you, next. Leaving, not caring, and switch up. Reintroduction, acting brand new, new persona. I told you someone was going to act funny. Mm-hmm. Wait until the Wheel of Fortune gets their ass, Scorpio. What does this person not want Scorpio to know? Besides the fact that they're a jealous karmic or a jealous friend. Yikes. Noise. All talk, meaningless words, empty promises. Don't even listen to this person. Flatlining. There you go, Scorpio. <laughs> Losing interest, feelings are fading, drifting apart. And you get this lucky break as soon as you cut them out, as soon as you silence the noise and stop messing with these people. It says good fortune, good things coming, turning point. Mm, leveling up at the bottom. Road to success, accomplishing goals, moving to the next level. I'm leaving that right there. What else, spirit? What does this person not want Scorpio to know? Sheep, lacking opinions. Being easily influenced, a follower. I told you guys, this is like a copier, copycat. Chained, codependency, unhealthy attachment weighed down. They're mad you broke yourself free from the chains that bound you, Scorpio. They were toxic and karmic. Cuffed, off the market, committed relationship, inaccessible. Now they're mad. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Tell me more. Look, switch up, reintroduction, acting brand new, new persona. So now that they see that you're not chained to them, they're trying harder and harder to get your attention here. Yeah, the blues. Heavy emotions, mental distress, low vibing. This person's going to feel the backlash of their shit. Sending out all that negative energy towards you with that five of swords did not work. It just helped you boss up and get the love you want. What else? Brick wall, guarded, hard to reach, defense mechanism. Yeah, you're putting a brick wall up on these people. You're like, I got my lucky break. I'm leveling up. You're kicking these people to the curb, Scorpio. Adios. Adios. What else does Scorpio need to know about this person here? Locked out, rejection, dismissal, and refusal. Access denied. You sure are telling them, get out. Nope. Look at this, bareback, ooh, unprotected sex, risky sexual encounters, STD, STI check. This person, this person could have been saying that you had STDs, and I hope not, Scorpio, because they're about to find out they got one. Yes, they are. Whoever the fuck this is, it's not you, because you already got rid of this person. This is the person who's been gossiping and wanted you chained to their karmic energy and to be stuck with them. Mm. Or if they're not talking to you right now, that's why. Because they caught something. Look, be right back. Yeah. Time apart, communication delays, left waiting. And they will be left waiting. <laughs> At the bottom, we got keeping tabs, tendering, and the struggle. Rough patch, frustrating situation, trying time. So they're going to try to hit you up as soon as shit gets hard for them. Don't even bother. Online dating, seeking love, interest, meeting a new person. So they got this from someone online or someone that is having an affair that's not supposed to be with creeping on the low, observing closely, staying connected. So even though you block this person out, they're still hitting the block, watching your ass. They're still on the internet, barebacking it with people they shouldn't be, and they're about to be going through the damn struggle. No bullshit. 
What's at the top? I'm curious. Massimo, bounce back, and the dating scene. See, I'm telling you, my masculines are definitely stepping up their sexuality this week. <laughs> so we've got masculine pride, toxic masculinity, meeting manly expectations, bounce back, perseverance, overcoming obstacles, making a comeback, and dating scene, casual dates, keeping options open, and going with the flow, baby. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Masculine, you're looking super sexy this week. I have to let you know. Not just because this muscular guy. I'm talking about how you're financially stable, creatively stable, emotionally fucking stable. Like, get it. And feminine, I know this is what you've been waiting for. It is time for the level up road to success, accomplishing goals. Let people bounce back as much as they want. You persevered on your own, baby. Mm -hmm. That's the Scorpio way. Now, what does this person want to say to y'all? And I'm sorry about the lighting. I don't think it's too bad, but I still think it's kind of bright. But I'm trying to record more at night. Oh, that's why we had late night. Ooh, I am working at night on my finances. But still, I really want to be able to do more with you guys. I've got more projects coming up this year. I've created my own second job, you guys. Yes, I don't want to talk about it too much because I've got stalkers on my channel that need to get a life, honestly. Um... But yes, I'm so excited, you guys. As, Scorp as a Scorpio myself, I have new blessings coming in. And I, like I said, I already went through this this uh, last year. Mm-hmm. Watch the company you keep. So you got marriage, wealth, or is this friendship? This is friendship. Marriage, friendship, luck, and victory. I feel like a lot of you are going to be meeting someone that you have an extremely strong friendship with that you're going to marry. Okay? Like, it's going to be undeniably strong. Let me turn this down a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. It does this person want to say to Scorpio, what is their hidden truth? I see you laughing at some kind of tech nothing, Scorpio. You're like, I don't even know what the fuck is going on, but I'm good over here. <laughs> kind of like this emperor's face. It's just like you're feeling good about yourself right now and what you got planned. Spirit, what does this person want to say to Scorpio? I feel like you're putting too much pressure on us. Can we let things happen naturally? Your friendship means so much to me. I don't want to risk losing you if we cross the line. And I don't, or I didn't, oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Your friendship means so much to me. I don't want to risk losing you if we cross the line and things don't work out between us. Okay. I felt like there was like a platonic energy trying to get in on you. It says, I caught unexpected feelings for you. For, yes. for some of you, this could be a friend that caught feelings for your person or you too. Or this is someone else's karmic that's not letting them go into this new love relationship. And they could have strong um, Aquarius in their chart, like I said, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces. Woo! What else, spirit? I wish I had a reset button. I want to show you that I've changed, but I know you... Don't trust me because of our past. Well, yeah. It was like this person was trying to put too much pressure on you before, and now this person wants to hit the reset button. What about this friendship? I feel like you're my soulmate. So now things have changed. Mm-hmm, Scorpio, they feel like you're the soulmate. It takes a lot for me to put my pride aside. I heard that. Me too, shit. So don't come, don't come to Scorpio with that shit. If you got feelings for Scorpio, I highly advise you say something. Because Scorpio will move on if you act like this. Absolutely. I feel like one person, it's like an energy of where someone's like, you're my person, you're my soulmate, let's be together. But someone's actually showing you proof. You know, that's what's coming for you now. Your real divine versus intimacy. I'm hesitant because I fear I can't be a provi the provider you deserve. You deserve the world and I can't give it to you. I really like you. And yes, I do receive plenty offers, but no one is you. And I recognize that. This is in the same placement as the um, collective reading. Make sure you guys are checking that out too. Because a lot of the time, I do, the, I do that one first. And I notice that the energy does flow into this reading a lot of the time. Okay. All right. Let's get a, a few more here for Scorpio. It says, I want to continue getting to know you better. So this person is trying to hit the reset button. It's like they're going from you're my soulmate to I do like you. I don't I I do want to be more than friends, but I don't know what I want. Scorpio is an emperor. Don't come with that. It says, You've got me in a daze of thoughts of you, and 
I'm pure. I'm purposely ignoring you. Okay. So th this is childish. And someone knows it. So if they're ignoring you, let them. I swear, if my cats open the door one more time, they can't stand that I'm working, you guys. So at the bottom it says, you can't always get what you want. I don't have you, right? I notice every little detail about you from the way that you walk to the way that you go hard for the people you love. And when I pull away, it's because I'm trying to keep you from the drama that's going on in my life. So they do purposely ignore you because of that. They have a lot of drama in their life, but it's probably just their karma catching up to them, to be honest with you, Scorpio. Yes, it is. Especially if they were playing with your emotions. Everyone knows better than to fuck with my Scorpios, right? If not, you do now, shit. <laughs> All right, babies, what else do you need to know? That you're going to be happy? That something that you've been waiting for, that you've invested in, is growing into something that's amazing and no one can stop you from getting that? Nobody. Yeah. And I say that because we've got the five of wands right under the two of cups, the queen of pentacles, the lovers, the seven of pentacles, the emperor. You've already made it, baby. Mm -hmm. If not, you're going to this year. <laughs> Shit. I know this isn't a year, read, uh, year reading and it's just for the week, but this is where it starts. What else does Scorpio need to know and love this week? Courage. Willingness to confront agony, pain, danger, uncertainty, or intimidation. Strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. I told you, you guys aren't playing around. You are ready to go. Some of you could have life path number eight. It says D um, divine timing. I want to take action towards you. I want to talk with you, be with you, and feel you. Please be patient, my love. I will come back to you in divine timing. Mm -hmm. Don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this don't. What else? Spirit? Drinking the Kool-Aid. Listens to others and disregards her own feelings. Not only goes along with other people's plans and ideas without taking their own or without thinking about their own well-being. What did I tell you guys? It's like even though this person could see you had a past life connection together, that love was in front of them. Not just one Ace of Cups, two. And this huge healing vibe that radiates off of you. They still believed what other people told them. So that's what their ass gets. They had both those Ace of Cups and still sat there listening to other fucking people. Yeah. You know what that card always reminds me of? A Gemini. Mm-hmm. Tell me more, spirit. Masquerading. I'm wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I'm alone, I think about you and realize I was my true authentic self when I was with you. So you saw this. You saw this person masquerading in front of you because you've gone through so much. You've already got the courage to become who you need to be, Scorpio. Do I have to tell them again? We have seven life cycles. They have three. We're not like them. <laughs> at all look at this deceit i don't even know why i'm lying to myself about the way i feel about you i may act as if i don't even care but deep down i know it's because i care too much and that makes me very afraid well you shouldn't have lied to yourself in the first place and that never would have happened so this person's going to go through a tower moment Look at this, third party situation, main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of the relationship, feeling betrayed and second guessing self-worth. I told you there was a karmic feminine energy in this reading. Jealous as fuck, spreading rumors. I can't make this shit up. Spreading rumors because they're jealous of you. Oh my gosh, look at this. Unable to control, has an overwhelming need to share false or misleading info, overindulging and overconsumption of personal narratives that may or may not be true. See, someone doesn't want me to speak it, but it's true. This person shouldn't have listened to others. There's also someone that's trying to tear apart your connection here, but the tower's about to fall on their head. Wow, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, let me shuffle and get a couple more. What does Scorpio need to know and love this week? Juggling. I'm having a hard time processing what happened between us and juggling my own personal responsibilities. I need time and space to deal with everything. I feel like, yeah, you're you're getting the courage to move forward, Scorpio, and that's what you need to do. You Look at this. Future focus, a strong sense of feeling hopeful, awakened, and being aligned with the connection, positive outlook on life, and focusing on your future. I cannot. The, the cards are setting me up, folks. You might be seeing the number 66 a lot, too, Scorpio. Who for the person that's stalking Scorpio and listening to everybody? Jesus. Mirroring nature. If you are feeling under duress or feeling solemn, I feel it too. When you are thinking of me, I'm thinking of you too. Our connection is deep and profound and sometimes difficult to understand. So go ask other people about it. That should help. Not. <laughs> what the fuck? What's at the bottom? Telepathic. 
I feel you through everything, the things I touch, the images I see, and the voices I hear. Yeah, I bet you do hear voices. We are connected throughout this universe, even if we are miles apart. Mm -hmm. So like I said, this person knows they've been with you through many lifetimes as they have the mature two of cups on their side. They had those two cups in front of them the whole time. It's like you gave this person a second chance even, it looks like, at this. And I feel like you were just ready to bring the wrecking ball in on this once you realized that this person was fucking around. Mm-hmm. And they can't believe it. This person's triggered and chasing. Yep. All right. Let's get a romance angel for them. A romance angel for you, Scorpio. And what's coming up for my Scorpios, please? Look at this. I'm, I thought I'd seen it as a six, but it's 99. 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. And then 66. Six, six. What's going on here, Scorpio? Look at this. Reflect on your actions. Time decides who you meet in your life. Your heart decides who you want in your life. And your behavior decides who stays. Yay. You're getting rid of some people here. You're like, uh-uh, bitch. Get off my shoulder. <laughs> what you got to say? Get out of my ear. With um, trust your loved one. A true relationship is when you can tell each other anything and everything. No secrets and lies. This person is going to try to get you to trust them again, even though you were the loyal one. You see that lady with the dog? I still feel like that's you guys. This is the, per this is the person on their journey here on the horse coming to bother you in your garden or something like trust me scorpio like get off your high horse you son of a bitch <laughs> respect the lady and then between the two of you we've got discover the secret relationship is the rainbow between two hearts seriously you guys seriously where's that card at but anyways we'll, we'll use this one is the rainbow between two hearts sharing seven colors of feelings, love, sadness, happiness, faith, truth, and respect. You're meeting the one. You're absolutely meeting the one, Scorpio. And it's going to be amazing. And you're both going to have balanced masculine and feminine energy. It's not going to go awry. This isn't going to be a half-assed situation here. This person knows what you're looking for. And I feel like you're going to feel that when you meet this person. You're going to feel like you've known each other before. Mm-hmm. Okay, my loves. Let's get one more on this. One more on Discover the Secret. Where is it leading Scorpio? It says, farewell sadness. You know it's love when your feelings don't leave, even if the person does. So some of you are finding new love, and some of you are possibly going back to an old love. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. But you're discovering what you need to do to get rid of sadness and people who are deceitful in your inner circle. This person is as well. I just feel bad if they actually, you know, are in this regret because you're future focused and they're not. All right. So, yeah, let's get your messages from spirit and then we will go to all signs. Where is my deck? There it is. Spirit, what messages do you have from Scorpio? What do you want them to know this week? What do you need my Scorpios to know this week? What is the advice? It says the unseen things are not always as they appear. Be thorough and keep your eyes open. There's something you're not seeing. Mm-hmm. What is it? <laughs> a celebration. Stop finding holes in your success or a reason to undermine it. You deserve to celebrate yourself and your accomplishments. You're going to be celebrating. This wheel is working for you. And then we've got... Awaken love. It is safe for you to love. Don't let fear or insecurity stop you from giving and receiving unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And then I have to show you guys the bottom so that you know. Closed doors are blessings. If something you are hoping for doesn't happen, know that something even better will. So I think you closed a chapter, right? Because you found the unseen and you awakened and now you'll celebrate. My babies, I love you. This is so fucking cool. Yes, you had to shut the door to open this one. Mm. Okay. It's giving me like secret garden where they find the door and they bring the garden back to life and everyone's celebrating in there again and the whole family's bringing life into the garden and there's growth. That's what I'm feeling for you, Scorpio. It's going to be fucking awesome. Now let's go to all signs. All right, my Scorpios, let's get it. Thank you to my time stampers ahead of time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No pressure, but thank you if you do. All right. 
I already shuffled this one, but I'm going to shuffle again for you guys. Scorpio and all of the signs. Let's get it. Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio and an Aries. We have got pretty bride, commitment, wedding, marriage. They choose you with power couple, ambitious partnership, making boss moves, building up relationship with you got me in a daze with thoughts of you. You got Aries ready to put a ring on it or admiring your power couple relationship. Um, Leo and a Scorpio. Miracles. Miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. So this Leo feels like you are a blessing in their life, Scorpio. With down to fuck, down to fuck, flings and hookups, looking for fun. But they don't want anything serious, okay? This person's used for sex and that's about it. I want you to show me how much you want me. Affection is everything to me. See, I don't have to make it up. Scorpio sex is always good, Leo. Get out of here. <laughs> Scorpio and Sagittarius. Cool peppermint. Refreshing new energy. Interesting and stimulating. Pleasantly different from the usual type. So there is a Sag that is liking your vibe with diss. Cutting remarks. Expressing disrespect and hurtful words. But acting like they don't like you. Makes me think of like someone who knows they can't align to your energy, Scorpio. But keeps spreading rumors because they're weak. Damn. But knows when they're around you, you're the shit. So it says it's all... It's like all of a sudden I see you in everything I do. That's your karma. Quit talking about Scorpio before your tongue gets cut. Scorpio and Aquarius. The cosmos, soul gifts, divine plan align with the universe. And overdoing it, trying too hard, unnecessary and dramatic. So you've got an Aquarius about to be super extra because they feel like you are it for them and they're ready to fight now. With our upbringing is like... Hmm? Our upbringing is like night and day. I think this is why we have a hard time understanding why we react to each other the way that we do. I feel like that's just you, Aquarius. Don't fuck with Scorpio. Okay? Just don't. <laughs> okay, Scorpio Libra. Rising star. Recognition. Favorable outcome. Joyful transformation. So they see you coming up. With savage, acting ruthless, inconsiderate of others, and no fucks given. So they're mad that you're coming up without them. But who cares, right? What's up with the air signs and fire signs today with Scorpio? Fuck y'all. And it says, I, or I see all of the signs that remind me of you, even when I act like I don't. Like, come on now. Quit watching and stalking Scorpio then, Libra. Ugh. Scorpio and a gentleman. Cannot with these air signs today. Worth the fight, not giving up easily, wanting to conquer, fighting for love with back burner, seeing potential unsure of desires and saving for later. This person is not going to fight for you. They're putting you on a back burner. They'll tell you that they're going to fight for you, but they're not. So that's kind of scary, Scorpio. With, it's like comparing apples to oranges. They're both tasty, but they're completely different. Well, why are you keeping Scorpio as an option? Yeah, don't play with this person. They're keeping you on the back burner, probably for financial reasons. What is the Capricorn one? Planetary vibes, celestial realms, connection with the cosmos, eyes are closed, but you're the only one with your eyes open, Scorpio. I mean, there could be a Capricorn using magic on you with, who's this? Unknown caller, black numbers, fake numbers. And they're trying to get a hold of you or fuck with your head and they can't. It says, I get so nervous thinking about how I'm going to propose I want to make you my wife or husband. I don't get that from this energy. One more, please. I can't handle you just as a friend. Yeah, this is a friend. This is a friend that wants your wife or husband, okay? I'm sorry. They're going to try to call you a person. I don't know why I got that, but I did, okay? And if not, this is someone that, like, for real, is terrified to tell you how much they feel for you, and it's same sex. Taurus. Closed off, guarded, emotional blocks, avoiding emotional connection. That sounds like a Taurus. They don't do it on purpose, though. Doormat, naive, taken advantage of, and for formidable. So this is why. They're very guarded because someone treated them as a doormat in the past. Okay, Scorpio. How does the Taurus feel towards Scorpio? It says, my children are my priority, and their happiness means everything to me, even if it means me being unhappy. So they're really focused on their family right now or having children. Scorpio and a Virgo, please. 
Safe place feels like home, sense of security, comfort zone. So you've got a Virgo clinging to you with setback, facing loss, off track, and delay. So they're like wanting to run back to you for safety, Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Virgo. And my heart drops every time I hear that song playing, I immediately think of you. So they're getting very nostalgic, okay, for a Virgo. That's interesting. Scorpio and a Pisces. Jealous one, scared of losing you, don't want to share, protective over you, and bless up. Appreciation, gratitude for blessings, and receiving blessings. Yes. You got a Pisces very jealous of your blessings coming through here. Mm -hmm. Could also be they have a jealous partner with them that's jealous of you. This could be that karmic we were talking about, Scorpio, with... I feel like you're putting too much pressure on us. Can we let things happen naturally? <laughs> Scorpio and a cancer, please. Unfoldment, spiritual awakening, breaking free and blooming, connecting with your higher self. And subliminals, low-key digs, passive-aggressive behavior, calling someone out. So it's like you have a cancer going through an awakening, but someone's telling them, like, you're so stupid. What are you doing? Are you doing that for Scorpio? Oh my God. Either that or they do it to you because you're going through a spiritual awakening, Scorpio, and they can't take it. With? I've been put down and belittled so much that I've actually started to believe it. So now they do it to you. They think that if they can do that to you, you're going to be together. That you're the same. But that's insanity. Scorpio does not play that fucking game. Scorpio on a Scorpio. Yep. Lone wolf. Free spirit. Happy single. Choosing to stay single. With? Shaking my head. Let down. Feeling disappointed disappointment and disapproving of a situation a lot of you guys have cleared your energy and people are regretful for the way that they treated you with i can't tell how i can't tell you how many times i've picked up my phone and dialed your number i have so much to say and i don't know where to begin so i don't say anything at all and i feel like maybe that could even be you scorpio where you're like you want to say something to these people but you know it's for your highest good to just be a lone wolf right now and focus on what you need to get done but you've got people that are wondering where you are mm-hmm you know when Scorpio goes in hermit mode, we're about to come out with some new, new shit. So, here we go. Let's at the bottom. Heavy burden. Responsibilities. Carrying old baggage. Clinging to an unhealthy relationship. Yeah, this person is going through hell. Could probably cling into a karmic. Then it says, painting the roses red. Trying to fix it. Correcting, improving something. Making the best out of a bad situation. And he or she is a unicorn. One of a kind. Hard to find. Irreplaceable. With divine hand. Divine assistance. Midas touch. A Midas touch. Attracting helpful people. Okay. So there's divine assistance on its way to you, Scorpio. Yeah. Blessed union. Meant to be together. Love that transforms. Um, divine mission together. Mm-hmm. It is yours. Now we've got... Flashy. Bougie. Over-exaggerating. Status. Fake. Flexing. Well, now that's their burden. They shouldn't have overspent or made up lies about who they were. The struggle, rough patch, frustrating situation, trying times. And now they can't even paint the roses red anymore. That's what their ass gets. And then on pause, Scorpio. Delays, hesitation, losing momentum. This person's like, shit. How am I going to get this person? How am I going to get Scorpio back? They're irreplaceable. And they're not saying shit to me. I'm going through hell, losing money, can't fix shit. And Scorpio's getting blessed up like what? With open book so no shame showing vulnerability and putting it all out there that's you you're free you are finally free Scorpio. with i'm hesitant because i fear i can't be the provider you deserve you deserve the world and i can't give it to you so see what i'm saying they might be saying oh yeah i can't handle scorpio they're too flat they need money they need this they need that you need to realign your chakras and you would see it's not about money it's about putting in yourself earning Earning success and abundance for yourself and your family and your future. Ugh, people make me sick. With even though the odds are stacked against us, I'm going to fight for our love. Trying to paint the roses red with the struggle. So this person's trying to convince themselves, pump themselves up to come toward you. It says, I have something to confess to you and I know you're going to like what I have to say. So they think because you're on pause, you're waiting for them to chase you. But I don't feel like that's it. I feel like you really want these people to get off your back, Jack. <laughs> and then we got, my mental health is my priority right now. I'm not in a good, I'm not in a good headspace at all. It's dark. 
with your friendship means so much to me. I don't want to risk losing you forever if we cross the line and things don't work out between us. I'm sorry, but I feel like it already didn't work out and that you need to definitely go figure out your headspace before you try to come back to Scorpio while you're still going through the struggle and painting roses red. But don't worry, Scorpio, you've got divine assistance, especially when it comes to this blessed union. Mm -hmm. So I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you want a private reading, it's linked in the description. And I love, love, love you guys. Bye.